Hey guys, it's been a hot minute since I've done a Yi style haul. Lately, I've been super interested in the idea of building a capsule wardrobe. For this haul, I handpicked 11 super cute items that just give timeless chic. Think neutral colours, super comfy, built to outlast any trend. Because why chase trends when you should be setting your personal brand with your style. I think that topic actually deserves its own video. If you want to grab anything I reviewed on this video or just anything from Ye Style, you can use my code VIKINGS with 2K like Vicky to get yourself a discount. I'm so excited to show you guys all the cute stuff I've got. Let's get started. The first item is this grey cropped jacket. I think it's super cheap for a light jacket. It says in the description that this is a denim jacket, but the fabric is not actually denim. It's got a cotton feel, but it's actually polyester. The material is pretty thin, but I don't think it feels cheap because the jacket has a good structure to it. It's the perfect jacket for the transitional season, but I can see myself wearing it as a top. I just tried it on and I buttoned all the way up and it just looks so cute. The crop silhouette is super flattering and it makes me look longer. I love the detailing like the matte metal snap buttons and the waist ties. It's giving elevator gorp core and I think it looks like something from a high-end Korean streetwear brand. One massive watch out though, this runs small. I got this in size XL and it's just right for my torso and my arms. I'm not even a tall person, I'm only 5'3". If I went a size smaller, it'll be too short for me. Definitely check the measurements before you commit to buying. I give this 99 out of 100. I deduct it one point because of the sizing, but I can't fault anything else. I love it. The next thing is probably my favourite item of this haul. This floral spaghetti strap maxi dress. I think it's worth every penny. The fit is chef's kiss. It's so flattering. I got myself a large and it's kind of like hugging but not squeezing your body. I don't have the flatter stomach but the fabric is super elastic. It's also fully lined and it's proper maxi length. It goes all the way down to my ankles. It's not bodycon but it's form fitting and it still has a feminine pretty silhouette. There's a zip opening. It's super easy to get in and out of. The straps are not adjustable, but they are elastic. So there is a little bit of give for longer torsos. The dress has a cool 90s vibe. I think it's giving Rachel from Friends. It's sleek. It's got a feminine silhouette and it's got a neutral palette. You can easily dress this up or down. I can see myself wearing this with um, some jewellery and a pair of heels for a night out or I can layer it with a baby tee underneath and just put on some chunky boots for a more casual vibe. It's so versatile. On a day where I don't feel super confident, I think this is the kind of dress that makes me feel good about myself and for that I'll give it a hundred out of a hundred. Next up is this oversized cropped denim jacket. It's a little steep for a Yi style piece but it still looks amazing. I love the wash. It's not as grainy as the pictures on the website but it's a nice dark grey wash. The fabric is a soft denim. It's not too thick or rigid and it's super comfortable. I love the relaxed fit and the drop shoulders. It has a nice boxy silhouette and the sleeves are very wide but the overall vibe is not overly slouchy it's very flattering it has bigger collars than the normal denim jackets and the neckline is quite relaxed it doesn't go all the way up to the top it looks super cute layered with turtlenecks you know how the previous crop jacket runs small this one actually runs slightly large the sleeves are a tad long but i'm not complaining i like the aesthetics of covering half of my palm length i think it looks cuter compared to the other cropped jacket this jacket has more of a traditional design like a normal denim jacket i do like the other cropped jacket just a little more so i'll give this Maybe 92.65 out of 100. I'm so excited about the next piece, this maxi crew neck dress. It's such a cute, unique piece. Unfortunately, it's temporarily out of stock. The sweatshirt fabric is a bit on the thin side, but it's enough to hold the shape of the dress. It's super comfy. I was a bit skeptical about the sizing because it's a one size fits all piece, but it's properly oversized. The design is 
designer. I absolutely love the puffy sleeves and the lower waistline. The silhouette is oversized and exaggerated. This dress looks like something you would see in a Tokyo street fashion magazine. It's playful, but it looks high fashion. I think it looks incredible with a pair of long leather boots. I give this a hundred out of a hundred. I'll be praying to the fashion gods for it to be back in stock soon so you can get your hands on this. The next piece is this maxi smock dress with a waist tie. Obviously this dress is not constructed with some crazy expensive sturdy material because it's still fast fashion but the cotton is very soft and it's still very comfortable. I love the flared sleeves with the fold. The little waist tie helps singe the waistline and gives the dress a bit more shape. The straps are long enough to be tied at the back if you don't want the bow to be at the front. But I personally like the bow at the front with it offset a little from the middle like the photos on the website. It feels like a modern interpretation of traditional Korean and Japanese fashion. It kind of reminds me a little bit like a hanbok or a kimono. The design is really giving Japanese fashion houses like Yoji Yamamoto or um, Conde Gazon. The structure is almost architectural. I think this dress breaks the idea of what people normally call flattering. If you're after a dress that shows off the shape of your body, I don't think this dress is for you. I personally love it. I think it's still possible to find some creative designer looking pieces on Yee Style. It kind of makes the game of fashion a bit more accessible for people like myself. And for that, I'm giving this dress 89 out of 100. This dress definitely needs ironing before you can wear it out and I'm too lazy. Honestly, so many people asked where I got my next piece from. I love this knit vest. The quality is crazy good. The material is polyamide but is so soft it honestly feels like a warm hug. I've chucked it in the washing machine a few times already. I haven't even put it on delicate or anything but it's still kept its shape and it hasn't shrunk. You know how the grandpa vest made a huge comeback? This vest is kind of like the more elevated high fashion version of it. The boxy cut makes it less op shoppy and more designer. I'd suggest going for size XL if you want a proper oversized fit. Shoulders come out quite wide, but I love how it gives that boxy silhouette. There are these little slits on the sides and the back flap is slightly longer than the front. I love how it covers my bum, but the front isn't too long. This vest is great for layering. Putting this over any shirt just instantly elevates the outfit and makes it look more put together like you know fashion. It looks great layered over the grey sweatshirt dress that I mentioned before. It also looks incredible if you wear it on its own in summer with a cute bra underneath. It's so chic. I get compliments every time I wear it, so I'm giving this 100 points. The next item is a must-have. These black high-waisted dress pants. I'm not even exaggerating. I've literally worn these a billion times since I got them. The cutting is more like a straight leg cut and it's super flattering. They're such a staple in my wardrobe. They go with everything. The fabric is synthetic, but it's not the kind that feels uncomfortable. It's super soft and lightweight, so these pants are great long pants for summer too. The length is great for me. They are long, but they bunch up above my shoes nicely and they don't drag on the ground. I got these in size XL because yes, style clothes tend to run small for me. The best thing is the elastic band at the back of the waist. There is so much give. You know how layering pants under skirts and dresses is back on trend? These pants are essential for your layering. I love how they look under a midi dress. They just give the silhouette a sleek finish and the whole outfit looks more high fashion. I'm giving these pants a hundred point one out of a hundred because TMI, these are my favorite period pants. The next item it's another pair of high-waisted dress pants. I've been looking for a pair of khaki pants with a relaxed fit and these are perfect. They are properly high-waisted with a very wide leg cut but there are these darts um, just right under the waist to give the pants a bit more shape. The fabric is a bit on the thin side but they are surprisingly warm. I got these in size large and they fit 
just right. They are a little long, but again, I have no issues with a bit of bunching above my shoes. I think it's actually quite cute like that. One thing to look out for is the waistline. The fabric has no give and there is no elastic at the back. So make sure you check the measurements before you commit. I love how they can be dressed up and down. You can wear these with a tight fitted top and some heels for a millennial office look. Or you can wear them with a slouchy hoodie and a chunky pair of platform boots for a Gen Z coffee catch up look. The only negative I can think of is the fabric and the make. I've washed these a few times and some of the fabric and stitches came loose. There's also quite a bit of pulling where the pockets are, probably from the rubbing of my long tops. The fabric also creases pretty easily, so if you want a more refined look, you need to iron them. I give these pans 82.74 out of 100. They look incredible, but don't expect top-notch quality. The next item is this pinstrap shirt. The design is so cute. The sleeve ties make the shirt look like something a fashion editor would wear. The sleeve tie cinches the wrist and makes the sleeves look puffy. It just gives it a more high fashion and considered look. It looks amazing on its own. It also looks really cute layered. I can wear this shirt with the vest I mentioned earlier and it just makes this super sophisticated cute outfit. A couple of watch outs though. It runs very small. I read some reviews and I decided to go for extra large and I'm so glad I did. I don't think it'll be long enough and boxy enough if I went any smaller. The material is also less sturdy than the photos shown on the website. It's a thin fabric made of 35% polyester and 65% cotton. It does feel a little rough on the skin. The make of the garment is also not top notch. The sleeve ties are a little flimsy and the the positioning of the buttonholes and the stitching aren't very consistent. The design of the shirt is a hundred points but unfortunately I have to deduct about 28.62 points because of the make. The next item is this brown midi A-line dress. I love the romantic vibes. The fabric is so soft and smooth and the gathering makes the dress look so feminine and sophisticated. The high neckline and the rouging makes me feel a bit like a high priestess. I got this dress in large and in the coffee color and the dress comes with a belt. If you wear this without the belt, it runs slightly large and it's slightly longer than midi length on me, but bear in mind, I'm short. But I personally really dig the loose silhouette. I think it's a whole different look. If you want a more feminine hugging fit, you can cinch the waistline. The belt is just a giant elastic band with these gold buckles, there is a lot of gift. I love how this dress is super versatile and wearing it with or without the belt gives it a completely different vibe. I personally picked the brown color because it's slightly less expected than black and it just gives it a bit of a playful tone. I think this dress looks the cutest with a long boot. It looks way more high fashion when you can't see any skin between the dress and the boot. I'm giving this dress 87.64 out of 100 because it's a mega cute dress but it creases super easily. Last item in this mega haul is this cute double breasted blazer. This blazer is value for money. It's fully lined with this cute pinstripe pattern. You can fold your sleeves up and it looks mega cute like the model on the website. The quality is beautiful. The fabric does smell a little chemically, but I can't fault the make. It feels nicely constructed. It doesn't feel flimsy at all. I love the drop shoulders and the boxy silhouette. The double breasted design looks a bit more high fashion and sophisticated than a single breasted blazer. Instead of having flat pockets, they are angled. And I think this makes the blazer look a bit more considered and designer. It comes in black and coffee and I picked coffee because I already have black blazers and the brown kind of makes it look 
less corporate. I got this in extra large. The fit is loose, but it's not overly oversized and it doesn't make you look sloppy. I highly recommend sizing up if you want a proper oversized fit. It looks so cute buttoned up with a turtleneck underneath. It looks just as cute open with a t-shirt and jeans. It's so versatile. The only downside is this blazer absolutely needs ironing. As you can see, the material creases super easily. So I can only give it 95 out of 100. I'm deducting five points from this blazer because of my own laziness. That's it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this C-Style try on haul and my honest review. And thanks for watching me get in and out of these outfits. If you're inspired to build a capsule wardrobe with some of the pieces I've mentioned in the video, don't forget to use my code VIKINGS to get yourself some dollars off. Please subscribe if you want to see more of me and hit the little bell so you don't miss my uploads. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.